Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 4 of the subseries C Ash Rich Text Box Control. In this video, you are going to see how to load Rich Text Box content from file. So, since we haven't yet implemented the content style part, um, we will prepare the rich text box content using the wetpad application then uh, we will load the created file for plain text we can still use our application itself save and load um, for uh, rich text we in this video we depend on the uh, microsoft weird or uh, wetpad application So, in the very first video, we learned about the rich text box uh, basics. Then we talked about the example. In the previous video, we implemented the save option. And here in this video, we will implement the load part. So, in this video, we are going to load the rich text box content, right? So, we first we handle the click event for the load button, and here we create instance of open file dialog. So, in the previous uh, video, we used a save file dialog. You can refer it here. Save file dialog and we use it to get the file length here we are using the open file dialog then if you see we are doing the similar kind of settings so the instance name is file open we are setting the filter property filter index and then title so the filter we are just setting it like how we did in our previous example and dialog title is open text or rtf file of course user can open only text or rtf file because here in the filter we doesn't include star dot star and we include only dot uh, rtf as well as uh, dot uh, txt next we declare rich text box stream type this one we already saw and by default we are setting it as a rich text the stream type here stream type we are setting it as a rich text initially after that we use our open file dialog and we make call to show dialog method so this will open the open file dialog and you can see this is the title we are setting and you can see that title and the filter here that you can see here in the filter part and since we are setting index as one um, the first filter is displayed here and if you see this is our index 1 plain text is index 2 all right so here user will navigate uh, to a specific file and they will click the open button and so if they click the open the return value will be okay otherwise uh, it will not be okay so uh, we won't land inside this if condition so once you selected the file if you see we are using our file open i mean the open file dialog and we are taking the file name then we are checking uh, is null or empty for that uh, file name just to make sure there is a valid uh, file name 
anyhow user is speaking here but if a file name is not a, a valid one then we may get error so that's why here we are checking is null or empty otherwise so once this condition is passed we go to file open dot filter index equal to 2 so here we are making a condition so we need to know in we are in which format we want to uh, open the file so here if index is 2 then so by default the stream type is a rich text when we want to open it so here we are setting that and if uh, index is 2 uh, so here the first index if you see that's a rich text rtf second index will be txt so that's what here we are checking so you filter index is 2 we are setting the stream type as a plain text that means initially we set rich text and if it index is 2 we will replace that rich text with the plain text finally we make a call to our rich text box control this is the rich text box control we make a call to load file and if you see here uh, from our file open dialog we are passing the file name then this is stream type and it is declared here initially we are setting it as rich text and based on the selected uh, file type in the file open dialog we are uh, replacing the rich text with uh, plain text and we are passing this b here so this will open the content and display that in the rich text box control now we will implement this load option it's a demo time you can download the code snippet from video description so here i am double clicking the load button so inside the load button click we are loading the um, content for our rich text box so the code you already saw and uh, so we are making use of a file open after that we are setting the filter then stream type initially we are setting it uh, rich text after that we are showing the dialog and once user closes the dialog we get the file name we validate the file name is valid after that if it is a uh, index 2 file open dialog filter index that's the property if it is 2 then user may be selecting a text file so we replace rich text with the plain text then we make use of a load file here so first we will do with the plain text so that's all now we will save it here i am saving it under temp3 and if you see since i want to save that uh, as a text file i am changing the filter here txt already there is some file i will delete that here i am using a txt file and saving the content now we will open that for that i am running it again load txt file and you can see the content is loaded here now we will take the same stuff and we will open the weight pad 
if you have Microsoft query, you can use that also. And when you are saving it, save the document in RTF format. So wait paired by default, it will save the document in uh, RTF. And uh, so here I am changing this entire line to bold and fourth line I am setting it as underline. Then I am changing the color of the text for the third line. Just to let me apply bold and then I will change color as blue. And for fifth line I will set red color with bold and italic. So that's all. Here I am saving this document under the same location. So I'm saving it as a text document, test document, and file format is RTF. Now we will close this and here in so in g temp3 we saved the document and now we are opening it and you can see our rich text box is supporting the content formatted by the wetpad application so in the next part we will implement this bold font all those stuff and since it's a document type rich text box document type once we create the document using this uh, a sample application, you can open that document using the wait pad uh, application and we can uh, test that way. Alright, here at this moment we implemented a save and load. That's all here uh, in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye.